longer set goals. What do you do? I do. So I focus on the input and I allow by universal law for output to be emitted. So Newton's third law explains that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So whether it is, it's at a planetary level or at a cellular level, or at an energetic level, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So what do I understand by that in my life? Is that if I do something, there will be a retribution or a echoing effect in equal proportion to that, right? The energy is transferred and it's returned in the same proportion. So if I understand that I emit X amount of energy by exercising, I will have a guaranteed body and a guaranteed result because I understand that by universal law that will happen. And I have plenty of examples in the real world to prove it. That if I eat healthy, I'll extend my life. That if I exercise, I'll extend my life. That if I do breath work, I'm gonna release uh, tension and cortisol and stress, right? These are all things that we've been understanding and proving and developing into that we need to be intuitive about. And I think that it's extremely important that people begin to be intuitive of who they are and having these self-talks. It's interesting, I don't think everybody speaks to themselves. 6% of the population, I said, doesn't have an eternal dialogue, actually. And I would, I would probably think it's more because a <laughs> lot of these internal dialogues are controlled by, by emotions and systems and preconditioned uh, environments that they've been set in, which is what the matrix is. The matrix isn't pointing fingers at a person. You're the matrix. <laughs> like you are part of the problem.